on behalf of Blue Ass Soul, I'd like to welcome y'all once again. It's your boy Hero. Sit back and enjoy yourself. What's up, party people? This is your boy Eric Robeson giving you some pointers to perform by. Uh, this whole thing is for Shabar Entertainment. Uh, shout out to my homeboy Royal. Uh, and I wanted to really give something for you guys to uh, help out on stage. Uh, I pretty much have lived half my life on a stage and uh, it's helped me quite a bit on and off stage. But one thing I want to say that helps you perform is that first and foremost make sure that you're comfortable. You know, some people believe that it's important that you have on the right outfit and the right shoes and the whole thing. For me, it's most important that I can feel like myself on stage. So if there's a, a coat or a pair of shoes that's going to hold me back from being able to give the best performance I can give, they're not going to be on me when I go up on that stage, you know. Um, I truly believe that if I give the best performance I can, but yet I'm having on a pair of sneakers and a t-shirt, people will leave there and say, all right, he ain't had on a great outfit, but he killed the show. Rather than you can have on a $5 million outfit, and everybody like, you look great, but you sound at home. Which one would you really want somebody to say? So for me, it's always about looking comfortable. Um, you do want to be presentable, but most importantly, you'll be able to give your best performance if you're most comfortable. Second thing is just be prepared, you know. Try to spend as much time in performance, as much time on stage. I often say that you should try to practice your craft until it becomes invisible, you know, so that we should always work on our craft until it, until it is second nature. So right, when we get on stage, you're not trying to remember the words. You're not trying to remember your choreography. You're just one with the performance. You're living in the now of that performance. Um, the other thing I would say is just try to be the character of the song that you're portraying or for the moment that you're doing. You would sing at a wedding different than you would sing at a funeral. Um, you would sing at a small club different than you would sing at a coliseum. So at the same time with all those different things you have to recognize what character that you're portraying in those situations. It even goes by the song. If you're doing a sad song, not only the band but everyone on stage needs to be in character. A song is merely just a script. And the singer is merely a an actor portraying a character within the song. So if I'm writing a song or singing a song about a man who lost his love, you know, a woman that completed him, his soulmate, you don't sing that with a smile. You don't sing that with uh, a breath of fresh air. You sing that with conviction, with, with, uh, with, with, with sadness, you know. The same way that if you sing a song with, uh, that you just met your soulmate, you know, it's a different direction, it's a different pull you sing from. It. If you're singing uh, Bob Marley's Redemption song, there's a history of slavery, you know, uh, the apartheid, there's a history of all that that needs to be pulled through, needs to be seen in your eyes and on your face, you know. Um, what's going on, Marvin Gaye? There's a, there's a conviction of it. There's a question that you're asking. You're searching for an answer. So people need to be able to feel you searching. You know, so with that, the more focused you are, it'll help you answer what's needed on the stage or not. Doing some big old riff that's going to take you out of character may not be necessary. You know, more people might really understand it. Like, wow, it was a great riff, but, but the powerful performance will be you being in character. You know, most importantly, man. So... That's probably the best tips I can give you guys, and just have fun, man. And at the end of the day, people are coming to see you, uh, but they're coming to see you do good, and they want to enjoy you. They're not coming in wanting to to destroy you. Do know that. So if you come in there with, with, with the mind frame that people want you to do well and want to be entertained, do what you're supposed to do, man. Entertain them and have a good time. So. That's your boy, Eric Robinson, giving you some tips for the stage. Hopefully it helps, and hopefully I'll see you on stage or share stage with you soon. Peace. Hey. Well, I guess I'm just caught up in the noon. But you'll be told I think she is the one. Even though I know it's just the noonness. It's just the noonness. It's just the Tomorrow, but I hope she's holding on from this one on. Yeah, ever since she signed on for, we've been going hard till like 8:45. Now I'm at my nine to five, but never feeling so alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you can blame my friend and friend since she ain't to me. I've been holding on. Oh, that's a lot. First time I ever got right to black. Okay.